Good morning everybody. It's Al. And I wanted to do a quick video on my solar and wind uh, array and setup. As you can see, it looks quite different. Uh, this is a, a work in progress right now. Uh, it is much more streamlined, so it used to look like a nuclear power plant. And uh, since then, uh, I went ahead and uh, uh, I was forced, uh, more than anything, to kind of clean it up, or actually I took the opportunity. I had a uh, uh, magna sign inverter, a uh, 240 volt uh, two-phase inverter that failed, and so I have to send it to get it uh, repaired. And while that uh, was going on, I decided to go ahead and get an Outback inverter that also allows me to have a battery backup, like you see back there, but also it uh, sells to the grid. So I took the opportunity to go ahead and streamline everything. And so what you're seeing in here is the two main solar panel arrays uh, that charge the batteries. I have another solar panel array that's 1.6 kilowatts that has microinverters and those are selling to the grid constantly. But this side here, which, which has the, the bulk of the power, uh, I was never selling to the grid, but I was using it in the house uh, on and off. Uh, but I was curtailing how much I would use so I wouldn't uh, cycle the batteries too much. Uh, what this Outback um, inverter allows me to do, it allows me to charge the batteries. It has an internal uh, battery charger plus obviously, um, you know, it charges through these charge controllers. But uh, it does have an equalized setting that I can use and program it so I can equalize, uh, send an equalized charge to the batteries. Uh, for maintenance about once a month or so. Uh, so what it allows us to do, or allows me to do, uh, is to keep my batteries that uh, really never get used and excess and sell the excess power. Once the battery bank is full, it sells the excess power to the grid. So let's take a quick look at uh, what's going on here. So this um, inverter, it's a single phase inverter. Now I originally wanted to order a uh, 3500 watt 24 volt inverter, and uh, I accidentally um, ordered the wrong one. I ordered a 3600 watt 48 volt. The good news about that is that I just had uh, the correct amount of batteries to reconfigure them for tw from 24 to 48 volts. So I have this set of batteries here that are 12 volts, and they're all in series uh, providing. Uh, 48 volts. Well, there's four in series over here, four in series over there, and then the rest are in parallel. So we go uh, from the first one to the second one. So there's 12, 24, 36, 48. And you can see that there's a cable going from this one to this one here. And so that's my parallel connection to the other bank. That other bank is going uh, from series from here to here. So 12, 24, 36, 48, and then you'll see that in the negative of this one here, I have another parallel connection to the last battery here. So all I have to do to draw 48 volts is draw from this terminal here on this battery and from uh, this terminal over here on the other battery bank. And that way it allows me to go and, and draw power from the entire battery bank. Now, uh, this single phase, this is a single phase inverter, so luckily enough I had a T240 transformer that you can see in some of my other videos that I, I was using as a standby system with a, uh, with a different uh, type of uh, inverter which I took down just so I could keep things clean. And so the, uh, there are no electronics in that, that's just really a huge transformer and there are no uh, solid state electronics inside. And what that allows me to do is it allows me to create a, se a second phase out of that. So I have 120 volts single phase coming out of here, and then that power comes out of the, uh, comes out of the inverter from here, uh, from this wire, goes into the T240 transformer, and then out as a two phase, uh, 240 volts, so 120 uh, volts per, per phase, and then I got some, that goes out to my system. So that's a great way if you want to don't want to spend, you know, seventeen hundred dollars uh, or two thousand dollars is really what it what it'll amount to, uh, to have a, a single uh, outback inverter. You can spend that money here and then spend 
uh, you know, about four or five hundred bucks into that T240 transformer, and you have two phases. So you can drive pumps with that, you can run a washing machine, you can pretty much do everything that you need to. Uh, if we look at the charge controllers, let me see if I can uh, show it. Uh, so it, sh well, let me see if I can cut down on the glare so it shows better. Uh, we're going to go to today. Today we've produced 0.22 kilowatts, so not a whole lot. Uh, if I go down to minus one day, I can see that yesterday I produced 11.1 kilowatts of power uh, out of this uh, uh, solar array. And what that was doing, it was actually sending the power from here to the inverter, which was also connected to the batteries. And it was sensing that the batteries were actually at 52 volts, which is my 48 volt bank fully charged. And they were sending the excess, selling the excess to the grid. Uh, this other battery bank, or this other pa uh, a panel array, so a one kilowatt array uh, from my Harbor Freight uh, uh, panels. And uh, that guy yesterday sold, let's see, Today it's at 0 0.06 kilowatts yesterday. Oops, let me go back to that here. And then yesterday it sold, it sold 1.7 kilowatts uh, of power. So, uh, you know, approximately 13 kilowatts of power in one day. Uh, I still have to work on that, on that array. I'm gonna tilt it up uh, to take better advantage of the, uh, uh, of the sun. But uh, essentially that is the, the work that I'm doing. The two uh, wind turbines have been disconnected for now because what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm just gonna have two grid tie uh, inverters, uh, three phase, I'm gonna, con I'm gonna um, install them right there. And the output of those two inverters are gonna go into that outlet, which will feed the grid. And so that's how I'm going to uh, deliver that kind of uh, power. And uh, that's it, uh, very simple, much cleaner. You can see that I have the uh, disconnect uh, for the solar panels right here. Uh, there's also fuses inside, but I can turn the power on and off at will. And then uh, I am working on these, uh, well, I'm not working, I'm doing battery maintenance down here and I have to reconfigure them to 48 volts. So I'll go uh, six, 12, um, and then uh, 18 and 24 and then so on all the way to 48 volts at the end so that's one bank here ready to go uh, right now I'm doing uh, you know checking the water level checking the specific gravity on them uh, and now I'm going to uh, work on the cables clean them up and uh, connect them everything's going through this switch here the selector switch really allows me to choose the second battery bank which is this uh, set of 12 volt batteries up here that's what I've been working on and then uh, the number one battery bank which is on this side here let me see if this will actually there we go uh, the number one battery bank here uh, is gonna be those uh, green batteries that you see uh, down here and uh, in the normal running mode, I will just use that setting one plus two. But it allows me the flexibility to take a, um, a system or one of the battery banks offline so I can do maintenance on it and not have a current drop. Uh, so anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, sh post any comments if you have any questions and I'll try to answer them the best that I can. Uh, oh, by the way, this... Uh, uh, out of back inverter also comes with uh, something that's called the mate and it, it just kind of gives you totals on you know how much you're buying uh, how much you're selling right now there's still really no appreciable um, sun because it's really early in the morning it's really well it was really foggy until a few minutes ago you can see uh, kind of what it looks like outside uh, so you're not gonna see any selling right now in here, but uh, it's very simple to operate You can kind of just go in here go to status um, Go to the FX and then you can go to meter and you can see you know that it's in sale mode I don't know if you can see that right now uh, And uh, it'll tell you how much uh, you're actually selling uh, It tells you the output voltage the input voltage and so on and how much inverter current. Well, right now, I guess we are selling one amp right now. So not a whole lot being sold at this point because it's uh, uh, there's really no much sunlight. But uh, once uh, the morning uh, sun uh, burns out the fog and the, and the clouds, then you're going to see that uh, jump up uh, quite significantly. And so uh, we'll be selling good power to the grid. 
So thanks for watching, everybody. God bless.